like you said 20 push ups right of course you are younger and you have more strength and muscle strength because we are old now we are losing our muscle strength so i can't do i do i do some exercises at night too like walking fast or just uh, like all those things breathing and something whatever i could do i do like 20 15 to 20 minutes and during day time i do one hour sometimes tai chi sometimes yoga sometimes gentle aerobics but then like uh, is it okay like we can't do those kind of heavy this thing and weight i can't do more than 2 pounds i know that my capacity that's a really important question uh, did you know that if there is one predictor of long term disability and long term mortality and morbidity in older age the biggest predictor of that is muscle strength so your strength is the biggest predictor more bigger predictor than your blood pressure your cholesterol your sugar and everything else combined your strength is the biggest predictor so we cannot underestimate or undermine the importance of strength particularly in our older years and um you know that, that just has to be emphasized so it's very important do not be shy of lifting those weights and trying to become stronger trying to regain some of those muscles because if uh, any client has become deconditioned is losing muscles first of all metabolically that's the worst thing that can happen ultimately when we talk about um losing weight we are not actually talking about losing weight you know on this program we're talking about losing weight but we're also talking about regaining metabolic health and when we say losing weight what we actually mean is trying to get a more favorable ratio of fat to muscle and there are two ways of getting a more favorable ratio one is to lose fat and the other one is to gain muscle and so gaining muscle is incredibly important muscle in fact is a uh, often called the largest organ of your body the most metabolically active organ of your body it is very closely related to insulin resistance so if anyone has insulin resistance problems such as fatty liver pre diabetes etc increasing muscle mass is the best thing you can do for yourself and so even though the older we get the more difficult it feels to gain muscle i would highly recommend it if weights are difficult then perhaps just do yoga or tai chi even these are you know weight uh, body weight exercises and you know oh yoga even bodybuilders can find it difficult to do yoga if you do the right yoga um, it can really strengthen your core and can be quite difficult to do so i would certainly um, encourage people to think about muscle building muscle mass because if anything it is the closest predictor to how likely you are to be disabled uh, in your older years so if i said you have two people here age 60 which of them is more likely to be in a nursing home at age 80 and which of them is more likely to be independent at age 80 is a very simple test is called the grip strength test shake the hand the person who's got a stronger grip is a person who will be independent at age 80 and the person with a weak grip will be the person in the nursing home at age 80 so just to say do not underestimate the importance of muscle incredibly important one of the most central pillars of our program for reclaiming metabolic health so if you can't do weights do yoga do something else but we build that muscle are there any specific drinks or anything that we can eat to enhance the fiber fiber content of any food uh, because some foods like we we eat normally might not have as much fiber is there a supplement that we can use instead yeah great question so uh, you know the kind of supplements you get for constipation like metamucil psyllium husk or isabgol these are fiber uh, drinks uh, fiber is only found in plant food so if you're having anything which has plant origins chances are it will have fiber if you're having let's say a fruit smoothie or you're having a green smoothie and as long as you don't throw the fiber away it will contain fiber i'm saying that you know if you're having plenty of plant based foods whether it is beans or you know lentils or legumes or it is starchy uh, or green uh, starchy or non starchy vegetables particularly salads and starchy vegetables and if you're filling that quarter of your plate with uncooked food um then you will be getting plenty of fiber no doubt and 
uh, that should be sufficient but yes to answer the question more specifically the drinks which would have the most fiber would include uh, the green smoothies the, the fruit kind of smoothies with the fiber and pulp still inside as well as um, certain drinks you get for constipation like metamucil and psyllium husk sorry yeah doctor hi the my question is also related to fasting but in the case where the person has more acid reflux uh, like when we don't eat right on time right it causes more acidity so how to tackle that and do a fasting like when we say eat at 5 and not eat later on i mean it, the later on time it causes more acidity so how to tackle that thank you that's an excellent question um this is something which happened to me personally as well when i started intermittent fasting i also experienced more acid reflux and this is a common uh, problem that i see uh with a lot of clients in fact i can see some clients on the call right now who i know had this problem when they tried intermittent fasting my what happened to me in my own case is this was a temporary problem so um i had to use some medication to try to reduce the acid production um uh, and i did have to change some of a bit of my diet i eat more yogurt for example anyway if you're trying to have more probiotics having more yogurt is is helpful um but eventually the problem went away and surprisingly if you uh, were to just go on webmd on any any medical website on how to treat acid reflux the first thing you would see there is don't eat within 4 hours of your sleeping time so actually not eating for 4 hours before sleeping is the treatment of acid reflux and so it's a very similar kind of situation there is some short term problems you may have to change your diet slightly uh you may have to even take medication prescribed by a doctor for a short period of time but in the longer term you actually benefit with um doing uh some degree of um you know intermittent fasting 